Yeah, hello and welcome to this video. Yes, yeah, took a bit of time here. Um, yeah, I had a problem here, te a technical problem, but it has been resolved. Okay, so let's see what we get against my way. I played knight f6 here. And he's playing this queen e2 line. Yeah, this has become fashionable recently. Hmm. I don't quite know how it is played. Yeah, this makes an awful lot of sense, eh? Right fianchettos. Hmm, yeah, my, my setup here is a bit passive, quite clearly. Yeah, I didn't want to play my usual line. He plays something strange against it, which I don't believe is good, but I, I still have issues with it. So <laughs> let's see what, what happens here. Okie dokie. Yeah, I mean, white can always play something like e5. Okay, it doesn't do it. This at least this at least weakens d4 a little bit. So maybe I have some long-term ideas on that square. Oh, yeah. I'd like to play c5 and bishop to c6, knight over, and so on. Rook b8, there's queen a4 maybe. Mm, a bit inconvenient. Sure. What can you do? I was thinking queen a4, c5, queen takes uh, a7, bishop c6. That threatens to trap the queen and threatens e4. Okay, he plays this. Yeah, he's a very ambitious, enterprising player, and this is an interesting choice. Mm. Mm. I can go d5 tactically, <clears throat> I think. Takes, takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop h3 should be good. On rook d1, I have queen d5 for the back rank mate. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see what happens. He can, um, of bishop h3, can play bishop g2, I can take queen d5 and I take c5. So I think uh, it should be, it should be rather okay. So my way, what are you going to do? He can also play uh, other moves here, of course, some like rook d1 or moves that keep the tension. But I'm attacking c5, so it's not like he can play anything. Hmm, okay. Possible, yeah, of course. Well, I mean, here I can I can play h6, eh? just play for the, okay, I cannot take c5 later. I have d4 here. Hmm. Okay, he huh. interesting. Okay, let's let's do this and here I'm going to play okay I cannot pre-move two <laughs> two or three moves in a row. Um I do this first and then take on c5. That gives me a uh, nice activity. Yeah, just queen d2, I guess. Or queen a4. I don't know. I can take b2, maybe. Yeah, so I take b2 and he takes c6 or what? Yeah, that, that cannot be all that great. What's 
what's happening here. Bishop c5, he goes, what, queen a4, uh, knight a4, rook c2, hmm. hmm, I don't know, do I want to take this or not? I think I will do that, I will take it. Is he going rooks? No. This one. Yeah, I thought I should be okay here as c6 and a2 look rather weak. Rather weak than strong, but maybe I'm not assessing it correctly. I'm just not quite sure. At least rook b1 is not possible. Okay, here, this I can take. Check. And cover. And now I want to go rook a5. Rook b1 is impossible. My bishop on a5 is doing a good job here. Yeah, the sound is strange. I don't know what that is. It sounds a little bit weird. So... What are you doing now, my way? Yeah, rook c2 is, I think, what I'm going to play next. What is this idea? Okay, I'm, I'm going to play it anyway, so let's do it. Rook e2 I can take, that ending is just wins. My king is picking up uh, stuff. Okay, um, rook a2. Mm, yeah. Should should work. Rook e4. I have bishop d5. Rook b1 takes. Rook b7 is still still annoying here. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder, could I have avoided that somehow? Hmm. hmm, I don't really see if I could have done that. Time warning. Hmm, that doesn't look like it's enough. Damn, what did I do? Okay, wait, 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 I can do this. And rook b3, potentially. This is interesting. Yeah, 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 that's better. That's a lot better. I win the bishop ending easily because the pawns will just fall. And um, I have time now for king e7, and then I can pick up those pawns, I think, slowly. Yeah, fix that on dark squares so nothing will happen. And now I can let me let me check bishop d5. Yeah, it's a pawn, so let's do it. forfeits on time. Yeah, the sound is somewhat weird. I don't know what it is. It's kind of noisy. Yeah, anyway, um, we had an interesting game here. I think that, um, yeah, I, d I don't like the opening here. My, my d6 is certainly uh, not the way to do it. Queen e2 is a funky idea that um, came up recently because white, um, yeah, doesn't really have any success with the, with the regular lines with e5. And uh, yeah, it, I know it looks funny, but ultimately g3, bishop g2 is kind of a logical setup. So, okay, I went went with this. 
again, that, that's not uh, the best uh, um, setup ever, but at least it's kind of it's kind of solid. So queen c2, rook b8, that all is kind of normal, I think. And now he went for c5. This is interesting. Yeah, well, okay, taking is is out of the question. I think this is just is just too ugly, and White has chances to push his pawns. Maybe not immediately, but in the near future. So I think this this should be the principal reaction. My development is not that bad. I mean, all pieces are playing somehow. Okay, he played here, and now hmm, there, here. This is a, a very tough situation. I can also maybe go here. I mean, I, I thought about this, but. I wasn't quite sure how to continue here. This looks a little bit isolated on d4. I wasn't sure if I get enough support for this pawn. Yeah, and this is the... Yeah, that, that seemed logical to me and to, to do this. And now ed5, this bishop f5. Yeah, the computer agrees. I think I, I found uh, the right moves here. Yeah, queen a4. I was expecting this move, which is given as roughly equal by the engine. I'm not sure that I would have played c takes d5. I was thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, computer likes this position. Roughly equal, it says. So I can. I've got very active pieces here for the for the pawn. Yeah, queen a4. Now the engine wants to play bishop d3. Oh, yeah, that makes quite some sense. Eh? I didn't look at that. Tempo, and if I get to take f. Um, c5, I have f2 under attack. Hmm. That's a very good move. Something like, or here even. Eh? That's, all, that's already winning. Eh? Wow. We cannot move the rook then. The engine wants to do this and take here with the clear edge for black. Oh, interesting. No, I didn't see that. I just felt that this is I take on b2 and I'm okay. That was my train of thought. Okay, this, this, and this, and okay, well, okay, the engine gives me a slight edge, but the other probably was stronger. Yeah, and the advantage that black has, it's not great, but those pawns are easier to attack than my pawns. And um, Check. I think the rook trade also helped me g4 going back rook a2 rook b1 yeah okay the computer is merciless as usual it wants to take and now give yeah. this up yeah i wasn't sure about the rook ending Th those um what is the computer's line i mean okay it's always check yeah check. Mm. this is of course important Yeah, it might win. It might win. Yeah, and here rook takes a4, rook b7. This kind of thing is also not bad, but I think my solution is good. It just gets counterplay to a minimum, and and here I'm winning very easily. Probably should not trade rooks, but rather play rook d1 or something. But Again, I can attack this, probably a5, rook b4, just, just uh, attack the pawn and pick it up later. Yeah, that should be, it should be enough to win. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.